So we looked at jet thrust and we saw that the thrust was equal to the mass flow times the velocity of the jet stream uh, minus the velocity of the aircraft. But we also have turboprops and turbofans. And uh, for this video, we'll just look at the, the turboprop. So with the turboprop, we have a propeller and the air comes in to the propeller and then it gets accelerated out the back. Like that. So what we have is a large mass of air. Okay, so, so the air com in comparison to a jet. So if I, if I was to draw a jet engine uh, on top of this, you know, the intake, if I was to draw a jet engine, let's say on this aircraft, you might have an intake like that. Okay. Let's just pretend it's underneath that engine. So the air coming into the jet engine will be a small mass of air because we have a small area here. Whereas on the propeller, we have this large area here. So we can have a larger mass of air. So we get a large mass of air from a propeller. Now with the jet engine, when the, when the exhaust gases come out, you know, they're coming out very fast here. So we get a large uh, VJ. But with the prop, they'll be a lot slower. So we get a small VJ. So what we say is that with a propeller, we accelerate a large mass of air by a small amount. And with a jet engine, we accelerate a small mass of air by a large amount. And uh, this, this shows it here, okay? So for, um, for the, the turboprop, I should make that a large M. For the turboprop, it's a large mass by a small jet acceleration. Whereas for the turbojet, it's a small mass by a large um, acceleration. So a jet moves a small mass of gas at a high velocity.